What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your host with the most, Griever, as always, bringing you guys the next piece of One Piece, chapter 1034. Not a bad chapter, but honestly, not a whole lot to talk about. Sanji, they fight. Sanji versus Queen. The chapter title says it all. Sanji versus Queen. Uh, there's a few small things to bring up, like once again, and this is calling back, and I'm trying, I'm trying to just move past the fact that Sanji, Sanji's character was completely, uh, really knocked down quite a few pegs for me in these last couple of arcs of, of One Piece, but trying to move past that, but one of the things that happened that we all knew, okay, Sanji didn't really hit a woman because Sanji's just, I don't know, he's going crazy, like, like he's, I don't know what to think anymore, but try not to hate here, but thankfully, as we all knew, Sanji did not hit a woman. It was Queen using the stealth black thing, and it was revealed very early on. I don't know even what was the point of that, really. All that did was make Sanji look dumb. He's like, oh, I must have blacked out. Did I really hit her? It's like, no, no, no. What? What, what, what is going on with you? What is wrong with you? You know what I mean? So, like, he just... Like, really, if you were going to do this... You know, and as I said, this is going to be the one bad thing I'm going to say so we can move on to the rest of the chapter. It's like, if you're going to do that anyways, why do it in the first place? If you're going to reveal a month later that, oh, Sanji actually didn't hit the woman, which we all knew. I think there was a small percentage of people that believed that he actually did hit her. And maybe he is going more, hello, I am exoskeleton for a judge, all that bullshit. You know, like he believed it and none of the fan base believed it. And now it's been revealed that it never happened. So now that just makes Sanji look kind of dumb or weak-minded in a sense. Like, he thought he'd lose his morals the moment he got, you know, X, Y, Z. So, anyways, um, for me personally, that was the one little problem here. But I'm glad at least here it's cleared up. So at least we're moving past the worst, honestly, one of the worst chapters uh, of One Piece. So we're moving past that. And actually, the fight's not bad. Queen versus Sanji. Queen wanting to prove... That, you know, he can replicate judges' technology and they clearly had a rivalry, you know, of who was the better scientist, who was the better technology developer and stuff. Frankie, honestly, could give them, a, Frankie and Chopper could give them a bit of a run for their money, you know, combining those two together. Boom, right? Um, but in all honesty, yeah, so the tech, the, the tech gods, you know, Steve Jobs versus Bill Gates over here. Um, and that's basically how Queen views it. And so he's trying to showcase that he can do everything that Jerma can do but better in this fight. And Sanji ends up, uh, you know, Sanji actually ends up pretty good. I'm sort of glad here because chapter 1033 was Zoro versus King, right? And But that fight's far from over. Here, it's almost like I think we're concluding the Sanji versus Queen fight, which is good because this means probably next chapter, it's going to be the next title will probably be Luffy versus Kaido. I'm going to assume, right? Um, I think we're going to showcase the three fights. If not, we'll jump back to Zoro versus King, I think. Uh, because I think that this fight, this was a decisive blow. I think Queen has been defeated by Sanji, which, fair enough. Sanji's not a weak character in that regard. Power scaling-wise, Sanji should be stronger. And the fact that he's now awakened to the exoskeleton, which he did have. A lot of people forget that. He did actually initially have the exoskeleton and all this stuff and showed the remarkable improvement. It just got lost. Somehow it regressed. Now it's been accentuated probably from the usage of the stealth black suit, as most people have said. Using that, uh, managed to reawaken the, the dormant cells or whatever the way you want to look at it for Sanji. So Sanji beating Queen, who's already, once again, remember Queen and King were getting their shit kicked by Marco for a while too. They were tangoing with Marco for a while. Honestly, King's stronger than Queen. Let's just be realistic here. Uh, even if it's only a smidge, it's still stronger. And, uh, you know, Queen took a bit of a beating. Let's, let's be realistic. Like Marco was not slouching. Marco was not doing no damage to these two. So they're actually fighting slightly injured, I would argue, commanders in the first place. So Sanji winning this fight, um, I'm just sort of glad it's cleared up. I hope this is the end of the fight. Um, it was a pretty good fight. We cleared up the hole. Sanji did not hit the prostitute, did not hit the woman, yada, yada, yada. And uh, also, the only other thing to take away from this chapter, realistically, is the fact that Momo now seemingly didn't... The, the, the translations are weird, but what I gathered from both at the end of the day, uh, the Viz translation has a bit of a problem with this, and I think it's incorrect, but that he can't produce, Momo can't seemingly manage to produce 
flame clouds of that scale on his own quite yet. But what he can do and what he seemingly did was take control of Kaido's. Kaido is distracted right now, fighting against, of course, Luffy and everybody. So right now, Momo managed to take control of the already pre-existing flame clouds done by Kaido. That's the way I took it. That's the way what the initial translation had it. Viz makes this seem confusing that he's grasped the idea of how to use Kaido's flame clouds, not that he, it, it sort of made it seem like he produced his own and they're still not as strong or something. It's seemingly to me more that he couldn't produce his own quite yet. He's still new to the ability. And of course, just because he aged doesn't mean he had seven, you know, he aged 20 years. Doesn't mean that he has 20 years worth of training with the dragon dragon fruit. The smile dragon fruit, right? That, that, that's, that's not conclusive in any way, shape, or form. So the idea here for me is that he did take control of Kaido Slime Clouds because he even says, like, it might not be enough to stop if I can just halt it. I, I won't let it fall on the flower capital, yada, yada, yada. That's the beginning part of the chapter. And as I said, the last part is they fight. There's not really a whole lot more to talk about for me personally, as I'm not really enjoying. Uh, I'm sort of done with Queen. I'm sort of done with uh, the, some of these fights. Like, I don't care about uh, CP0 or any of this stuff. What I care about is Kaido. I care about Big Mom and I care about Kaido. I'm sort of done. And I care about Zoro versus King. That's the last three fights I care about. I don't need any new fights. I don't need any more fights. Jack is down. You know, the Big Mom Pirates are down and stuff. I need Big Mom, I need Kaido, and I need King. Queen has been defeated here. That would be really good. And as I said, I'm not, I haven't been a huge fan of Sancho's character in this arc. So I'm sort of glad that this was sort of wrapped up. Um, for more detailed reviewers, you know, go see Teching. Of course, he'll do a 50-minute review on anything. Uh, the chapter was also actually pretty short. It was only uh, 14 pages, 15, 14 pages. Um, so, and some of those were double spreads. So it was actually quite a short chapter and that's literally all that happened. Um, you know, Sanji went boom, 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 did a bunch of new kicks. It seems, I don't remember some of these attack names like burst and all this stuff, like all these French, um, you know, food, of course, you know, sort of, uh, adding the food motif to his attacks as he always does. But, uh, yeah, so I, I hope this is the end. Sanji defeated Queen, and now we can move on to the fights we actually all care about, which is Zoro versus King. And I know Sanji fanboy is going to be butthurt that I say I didn't really care about this, because I don't. Like, Queen's not a major player as far as I'm concerned. The first commander, like, Perispero isn't a main, like, like, who we care about. Like, I care about the first commander. I care about the Warlords, the Yonko, and the first commander. I don't care about Jack and Queen. I like Queen. But I don't care who defeats Queen. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's not proven to me anything. But the fact of the matter is, last arc, we had the top-tier commander of a Yonko crew fighting Luffy blow for blow. And as people, most people will still say, Katakuri sort of threw the fight in a way. So Luffy wasn't fully ready to defeat Katakuri even. And now we're seeing the upgrade of this where it's going to be Luffy is now fighting Yonko. That's a major thing. And Zoro is stepping up to the plate and fighting no more fodder for Zoro. Zoro is now fighting against Yonko, which he did do, rooftop gang for, for the win. And also fighting now against what Luffy barely could defeat last arc. Now, Zoro has to go up against the same level opponent. Katakuri for Luffy, King for Zoro. Now you guys could argue that Katakuri is stronger than King, or King is stronger than Katakuri, or they're even... I like to think they're relatively in the same block. You know, Katakuri versus King, who do you put your money on? I honestly think it's about a 50-50, you know? King seems very impressive. He's the, he's the first tier, he's the first mate of Kaido's crew. In the same way that Katakuri is sort of the top tier of Big Mom's crew. So, who do you put your money on? Right? So, but I like that we're seeing the progressive power scaling. Zoro's not quite ready to take on a Yonko by the looks of it. He was part of the rooftop gang. But in the same way that Killer and Law and Kid, real, realistically only Luffy can do major damage. Though Zoro did more damage than the other three. Let's be realistic here. Zoro cut Kaido. Let's be honest with that. Um... But it's showcasing, all right, here's the power scaling again. We're showcasing this. They have improved. And Zoro is not quite ready to deal with Yonko. He tested his metal. And he did a very good showing. Major feats. Some of the best feats. But still going to struggle against a commander because, you know, 
Though I would argue that Luffy would also probably struggle against a commander to this day. I don't think it'd be a, an e, uh, you know an easy fight for Luffy either to fight against King. So, but anyways, what do you guys think of the chapter? What do you think of the review? Like, comment, subscribe, and fourth and most importantly, as always, drink responsibly, as I always do. Happy Christmas to everybody, and we will see you guys back here for the next piece of One Piece. Chapter 1035, I believe we're on break next week, but we'll see you back here the week after that. And we'll see uh, what direction, now that I believe this is the uh, conclusion of the Queen versus Sanji fight, we'll see if we jump back to Zoro, if we jump back to Kid and Law, or we jump back to Luffy. I think it's going to be one of those three. I don't think we're going to waste any more time. I think Oda's trying to get us to the major arcs. Um, not the major arcs, but the major fights. You know, trying to wrap up some of the last little bits. You know, like Sanji versus Queen and stuff like that. So we can get to the more important and the most major fights in the Wano arc. So, what do you guys think? Let me know. Have a good night. See you.